Today I will compare these three motors of 2500 kV of different companies. So this is a Samguk series motor, this is Sunfun motor and this is the Racer Star motor. Both these motors are of approximate thickness as these are of device company and this Racer Star motor is thicker as it is from a different company. So first I will check the weights. The Samguk motor weight is 37 grams, the Sunfun motor weight is 39 grams and this Racer Star motor weight is 42 grams. And if I talk about the price, Samguk motor price is $13.5, Sunfun motor price is $12 and the price of Racer Star motor is $13.75. So I will perform the thrust test of these three motors with 5 and 6 inch propeller using a 3S and 4S battery. And I will verify whether these motors perform the same because of same KV rating. So let's start. This is the thrust test rig. You must have seen this in my old video. But this time it's slightly different. This wattmeter is modified and will provide the data to a laptop using USB. It will give us full performance characteristics with efficiency using graphical charts and the manual process will be easier. The spring balance mechanism will be replaced by a load cell. It is a little advanced project but we will see it in my upcoming videos. Initially the wattmeter was mounted horizontally but this time it will be mounted vertically. This time the ideal thrust will be the total thrust to lift the arm till horizontal position as well as the weight of the spring balance. So the weight of the spring balance is 146 grams and the thrust to lift the arm is 85 grams. So ideal thrust would be 146 plus 85 equal to 230 grams. So let's start. First of all I will test this Sunfun motor. I am using M3 size screws to mount it. First I will test this 5 inch 5045 tri-blade propeller. So first I will test using this 3S battery. So let's check its voltage. And it is about 12.3 volt. So let's wear the safety glasses. It has given us 550 grams of thrust using a 3S battery and I'll provide you the observations later as I have to add the ideal thrust too. Now I will test this using a 4S battery and its voltage is around 16.4 volts. It has given us the maximum thrust of 825 grams. So I will take out its detailed conclusion in the last including other parameters like voltage, current and wattage. Now let's change this 5 inch propeller with a 6 inch 6042 tri-blade propeller. The temperature of the motor is 27 degrees celsius before the test. Let's connect the 3S battery. It gave us a maximum thrust of 830 grams. Now let's connect the 4S battery. It gave us a thrust of 940 grams and its temperature reached to 39 degrees celsius. Now I will swap this motor and replace it with Samguk series motor. First I will test it using a 5 inch propeller. Let's connect the 3S battery. It gave us a maximum thrust of 525 grams. 
Now let's connect it to a 4S battery. Let's check its temperature and it is around 24.1 degrees celsius. It gave us a thrust of 805 grams and its temperature increased to 29.1 degrees celsius. It is mild hot as compared to the Sunfun motor. Now I will replace this propeller with 6 inch one. Let's connect the 3S battery. It gave us a maximum thrust of 755 grams. Now we will swap this battery with a 4S battery. The initial motor temperature is 30.5 degrees celsius. It gave us a thrust of 820 grams. The motor temperature reached to 39.4 degrees celsius. Now I will replace this motor with Racer Star motor. Its temperature is quite high. First I will test it using a 5 inch propeller. Let's connect the 3S battery. It gave us a maximum thrust of 485 grams. Now let's swap this battery with a 4S battery. Its temperature is 24.8 degrees celsius. It gave us a maximum thrust of 740 grams. And its temperature reached to 29.5 approx 30 degrees celsius. Now I will replace this propeller with a 6 inch one. Let's connect the 3S battery. It gave us a maximum thrust of 770 grams. Now let's swap this battery with a 4S battery. Its temperature is 35.5 degrees celsius. It gave us a maximum thrust of 860 grams. Its temperature reached 45.6 degrees celsius and it is the highest among the three motors. So guys I have done the thrust test of all three motors and compared them. First I'll talk about the Sunfun motor. When we connected it with a 5 inch propeller using a 3S battery, it gave us a thrust of 780 grams at an efficiency of 2.67 and it gave 1055 grams of thrust using a 4S battery at an efficiency of 2.31. When we connected this motor with a 6 inch propeller using a 3S battery, it gave us 1060 grams of thrust at an efficiency of 2.13 
and it gave 1170 grams of thrust on 4S battery at an efficiency of 1.85. So it's very efficient. Now I will talk about the Samguk series motor. While using a 5 inch propeller, this motor gave us 755 grams of thrust with 3S battery which is less than the thrust of Sunfun motor and efficiency has also decreased to 2.57 and it gave us 1035 grams of thrust with 4S battery at an efficiency of 2.25 when we connected this motor with a 6 inch propeller using a 3S battery we got 985 grams of thrust at an efficiency of 2.13 and it gave 1050 grams of thrust on 4S battery at an efficiency of 1.6 the thrust and efficiency of this motor has decreased as compared to the Sunfun motor and let's talk about the Racer Star motor. When we connected it to a 5 inch propeller, we got 715 grams of thrust at an efficiency of 2.5 using a 3S battery. And it gave 970 grams of thrust at an efficiency of 2.25 using a 4S battery. So this Racer Star motor performance is almost same with that of Sam Gook series motor. When we connected this motor with a 6 inch propeller, Using a 3S battery, it gave us 1000 grams of thrust at an efficiency of 1.88 and it gave 1120 grams of thrust with 4S battery at an efficiency of 1.72. The efficiency and thrust of both Samguk and Racer Star motors are little less as compared to the Sunfun motor. And the Sunfun motor is the cheapest among all the motors. And by observing the performance chart, it has performed better than the other motors. All the three motors performed good and I will pick the Sunfun motor because of its efficiency and price. So here our thrust test and comparison is completed. You can access the complete data by visiting the website www.themagninja.com. So guys my video here is completed and I have compared all the three motors. And hence you can find a suitable motor for your project. If you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section. And talking about my next video, I have tested this Dynam 70mm EDF in my previous video and I have designed and 3D printed the exact replica of this EDF. So my next video will be about testing this 3D printed replica and comparing it with Dynam 70mm EDF. So thank you guys for watching it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.